cannot believe that the panel is officially here, you guys. These kind gentlemen from my work helped me to get it over here, so it's pretty heavy, so I'm excited. I'll catch up when I'm inside. I cannot believe that the piano is finally here inside our home. I've always been attracted to pianos. I think it is such a beautiful instrument. I don't know how to play a piano. This piano was actually gifted to me by a local parishioner. Um, I was supposed to pick this up last year um, around November time, but something happened to the lady um, with her family or something, so we had to pause that. And recently, um, she was brought up in conversation, and so I reached out and see how she was doing um, because I heard she wasn't doing so well. And she like immediately was like, hey, do you want the piano? And I said, yeah, sure. So one of my sweet coworkers was so kind to recommend a gentleman and he had a trailer and as you saw previously, him and his son helped bring this piano over because these pianos are very heavy. Um, if you all don't know about these type of pianos, this is called an upright piano. I love, love the vintage look. The picture is beautiful. I never thought I would have one of these because they are so expensive. I tell you that I looked on Facebook market and they were not in great condition and you want to make sure that if you are going to get something like this that it is well kept because i did my research on it my sweet husband always gives me the best guidance on these things to make sure i do my research um, before getting into stuff because i know that i can be impulsive um so he, when i was doing my research i called and inquired someone that um, repairs pianos, that does um, piano tuning and that kind of thing. So the gentleman was so kind, you guys, to give me some tips. Um, and so one of the tips he told me is that when you do look at an older piano, make sure you look into the cabinet and make sure that everything is pretty much in order. Now, granted, in this case, it was gifted to me and the lady was very trusting by, um, by the source that she came recommended to or by the person she came recommended to me. And again, she's a local parishioner. So this was in her home and she wanted to make sure that it went to a very good home. Um, so I'm going to just show you all the cabinet inside and everything literally, let me just put this down gently. I think it stays just there, but everything here is literally in perfect condition. So you can tell that this is very well kept. I'm really, really excited about it. Um, when you do move a piano, it does need to be tuned. Um, so I'm going to work on that. Ooh, that was loud. Sorry. <laughs> I scared my dog. Um, but like I said, okay, Tiffany. But like I said, the piano is in phenomenal shape. Um, let me show you all the keys here. All the keys are here in working order. I already gave it a little go because I was so excited and they're so beautiful. I love that they're not yellow, so you can tell they're definitely well kept. And it just sounds pretty nice. And of course, it also came with the bench here. And the bench has storage and it looks like she has like the original paperwork for the piano. So I can just imagine how much this piano cost when she purchased it. So like I said, I am still in disbelief that it's finally here after a couple of months and that this was gifted to me because even though these pianos are much older or considered vintage, 
they are still very expensive. And the ones that I have seen that were a little more on the affordable end were not in great shape. Either keys were missing, they were too yellow, or legs, or it was pieces of wood on the side was broken. Um, they were just not in good shape. And I actually went to see one with my husband and it was in awful condition, awful. She put it on Facebook market and made it appear like the piano was in great shape. That's why I tell you all also be careful. Um, if you do go on Facebook market, um, make sure to ask questions and make sure that, um, you get current photos because there are people that they're not as honest and that's really not nice and it's unfortunate, but, um, I am so glad that it came from someone from the church, which, like I said, that's very special to me. And the fact that she was willing to just gift something like this, um, just says the type of person she is. Um, and like I said, I am just so happy. I am getting ready to just wipe it down a little bit and put it over here in the entryway. I think I like the idea of having it here on the entryway. I thought of putting it in the living room area, but I think I like it more here towards the entryway. I think it would be something very sweet and classic. And I love the fact that if you all have ever looked on Pinterest um, and happened to come across some post with these type of upright pianos. So this is called a short upright piano, which is exactly what I was looking for. Um, they are so nicely decorated. So not only is it such a beautiful piece to have in your home and a great piece to build memories around, it is just aesthetically beautiful in my opinion. And I'm just so excited to decorate it. I'm going to just turn the camera around to show you how our entryway is looking right now and I'm going to go ahead and use those same things to put it on the piano um, and then I'll be able to just change it around for the holidays and I'm and that's one of the things I'm so excited about and to learn to and of course to learn to play um, and just hear the beautiful notes of the piano so let me turn the camera around to show you all how it's looking right now so hi <laughs> this is my current entry station this is what i have here i bought this pillar at hobby lobby i don't know if i'm gonna keep it yet i really like it um but like i said i don't know if i'm gonna keep it um i thought about painting it but i'm not sure and then we had one of the and then i still have this cinnamon broom that it was around the fall season. I just love the way cinnamon smells. So I still have that there and it might be a good decorative piece still, I'm not sure. But anyway, this is what I currently have right here. I don't know if I'm gonna keep this cabinet or get rid of it. Um, I had kind of stained this over the beige paint that I had to give it like that wood look without having to sand it. Um, and then I thought about painting it a different color. I think over here is the perfect space. I like that there's enough space here with this wall um, without it affecting the walkway or anything like that where it might cause inconvenience. So I think this is the perfect little space for the piano. So I'm going to get this cabinet moved and then I'm going to move the piano over there and then I will show you what we're looking like.
so this is what I have so far and I'm loving how it looks. I want to get a little like blanky or something small to put on the bench. I think that would add a little nice cozy touch. Um, this candle is faux just in case, but I have seen many pianos with real candles and I think that also looks very nice. So I'm really excited to decorate this for season and obviously learn to play as I mentioned um, and get this tuned. I'm just really blown away by the state of the piano. Like it literally is in such wonderful conditions. Like it is so well kept, um, which like I said, I don't have words, but um, I'm just so excited and happy to share it with you all. I need to clean the mirror. Sorry, that distracted me a little bit. But I am loving it, you guys. Look at what a beauty. I can get some nice notes here, some musical notes, even if they're just for show for the time being. So as I mentioned, I do not know how to play the piano, but I'm just gonna give it a little go so you all can hear how it sounds again it needs to be tuned so just keep that in mind but i thought it sounded pretty well this so much and really look forward to learning to play don't laugh at me you guys like I said I do not know how to play the piano and I know most people might think I'm crazy because they're like why would you want something like this why wouldn't you start with a electric keyboard piano or something like that but to be honest, I had given up looking for pianos when I was scouring on Facebook market. And like I said, I can be pretty impulsive when I want something, but I don't know. I've just been drawn to pianos for a very long time. Um, and I guess I never really gave it much thought. Um, and I remember I would look on Pinterest and I would just see they are so beautiful. And I would hear people play and I was like, wow, it's just so beautiful. It's just such a great instrument. Like it's just beautiful, just like the violin or the guitar um, and even the cello. But I would say my most favorite is the violin um, after the piano. Um, so I had given up looking for pianos on Facebook market. I was like, ah, maybe it's not meant to be. It's not going to happen. And literally like a week or two, okay, maybe like three or four weeks later, um, one of my coworkers um, had said, hey, did you still want to get a piano? And I said, yeah, I was, you know, I would love to if the opportunity came. And she's like, well, I have someone that's a parishioner that wants to give away her piano and we don't need it. So I remembered you said you wanted one. So I was like, oh my goodness, you've got to be kidding me. I was like, that is totally a God wink. So I ended up calling the lady. Um, she left her phone number and then we finally connected and she told me about this piano and that she was willing to give it away and that, you know, all I have to do is get someone to haul it, which obviously it's, not an easy task because this piano is pretty heavy. I would say maybe over 500 pounds, I would gather, something around there. Um, but luckily it has wheels as you saw me moving it into place here. So that's how this finally happened. Um, just when I pretty much gave up and said, hey, it's just not meant to be, maybe it's not gonna happen, whatever. Um, this basically fell into my hands. 
and it was a great opportunity because even keyboard pianos are pretty expensive and the fact that this was a gift, I mean, why not? And I know everyone may not have the space for this and it is a to-do to get it hauled from one place to another and like I said, when you move it around, meaning from like cargo, like moving it in a vehicle and stuff, you usually have to get it tuned. Um, and when I did do my research on tuning, it varies by place, but it can go anywhere from $200 to maybe three, $400. Um, the person that I spoke to quoted me 200, around 200 to 250, as long as the piano is in decent shape. So this one is definitely in decent shape. Um, after, as I mentioned, the things that he told me to look for when getting a used piano. This is, I mean, this is pretty much as mint as can be in the condition that it is. Um, so like I said, I'm overjoyed and I really wanted to share this with you all. But anyway, you all, I think I am going to close this video here. I, again, can't say how happy I am to share this with you all and to have this piano here. I look forward to get this tune. Got to work on getting an appointment on that. Um, and hopefully the guy isn't too booked out to like next year or something like that. Um, but I, I'm just excited and I look forward to learning and maybe getting classes here or there. I know there's a lady in our church that, um, our, um, our priest connect, my priest connected her, my priest connected me to her and she teaches children. Um, and I think she was willing last time we spoke, I think she was willing to make an exception to, um, give me a class or two. I don't know. We, I kind of just chatted with her quickly one Sunday after mass. So I'll have to catch up with her and see, um, where we're at on that. If not, it's okay. I can always find someone else down the road, but yeah, you guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye.